Good morning, everyone. My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. And today, Kathy has a haul for you. She was able to source for a long time yesterday, most of the day. She's found three giant bags. You went to quite a few stores, right? So yeah, I think four or five. Four or five stores. Um, I was going to go to the bins, and then I was like, I had to do a good row return at the normal store. And of course, I found 11 pairs of shoes there and a couple of really good ones. So then I was like, maybe I'll just go to some regular stores. So yeah. I did that. And yeah, I didn't get any footage, which I'm sad about. <laughs> I'll just show you what I got. You did put some stuff on Instagram. So if you do follow yeah. on Instagram, you can kind of get like the... Yeah, you got the pre... The, yeah, the, <laughs> the preview. The preview of all the really cool stuff. Well, I only showed like three things. So anyways, I think I got around 50. Before we start, I did quickly want to thank Cindy, who bought us five coffees um, and wanted to just thank us for the spreadsheet. Um, she said she's new to our channel, really enjoyed watching. She's been selling on eBay for two years. She does it part-time while she does full-time real estate in Connecticut. Um, wow. She's learned everything about reselling that she knows just from watching YouTube videos. So Sweet. Thank you so much, Cindy. Cindy, thank you so much for the coffee. Yeah. And what do you have today? You have like a, a caramel macchiato? Is that what I you got? I did get a caramel macchiato. I shouldn't because <laughs> too much sugar. But yes. Um, so yeah, if, if you guys didn't know, if you're new here, we do have a free spreadsheet download in the description of the video. So Sweet. All right. Well, I was going to... Starting off you. big, huh? I was going to hide the good stuff. Well, this is a great brand to look out for, Loa. Um, the first time I ever found this was like at an estate sale and they were only pricing shoes at like $3. So mm. I didn't even know the brand, but I was like, these boots, not these ones, obviously, but the boots I found right. at the estate sale, I was like, they look good. They, they gotta be worth three bucks, right? I didn't even look up comps. And those boots sold for like, probably too low because I accepted $70 thinking, oh my gosh, I turned, <laughs> this is like when I first started reselling, I turned three bucks into $70 and yeah. that was like amazing. So ever since whenever I see this brand, I just get super ecstatic. It's funny because I do the same for Bionic, which is going down in value, but that was like my first ever flip right. of something that I learned by myself. So anyways, always below this brand. Uh, I did pay off for these, but it was very worth it. Um, $24.99, but these should sell at least for $100. I would say $100 to $125 or so, plus shipping. So okay. definitely a good one. I don't believe these are men's nine and a half, and I did look up comps, and I don't think any were listed in that size. So. And that's a pretty good size. I mean, pretty sweet. Pretty average. Like, you yeah, know, a lot of people will wear that size. So I did get a couple pair of sass. I'm imagining these were donated by the same person. Because I like to imagine things like that. <laughs> uh, oh, well, well, you can see one of them for now. Uh, this one looks like a, I don't know, what would you call that print? Like a crop Alligator skin, or yeah. something like that? Yeah, some kind of reptile. <laughs> and then this one, I think these are called the Dream Loafer. I don't remember what this one's called, but these are each like $10.99. They should sell for at least 30 maybe up to 40 They are size 11 wide, so that's a, I would say that's a great size for women. Okay. Found the match. Yep. What are you and doing down then, there, you ham? You meatball. Um, <laughs> so these were 30% off of 13, so probably nine something. Um, but yeah, these are just like some Sorel sneakers. They do need a little wipe down on the midsoles, but otherwise pretty decent. They are size eight and a half. I think I can get close to 40 on those. I've never actually sold Sorel sneakers, I don't think. Um, usually doing the boots and I've sold a few pair of the sandals. Uh, I got these 510, which is like an Adidas brand, but okay. yeah, these are a really nice shoe. I don't know what the comps are, but I knew they were worth paying $12.99 for. They are a men's seven or a women's eight and a half. I think probably like 50, but at okay. least 40, I would say on those. Look in great shape. Yeah, a little dusty, but yeah, they're like, I don't want to say they're a rock climbing shoe, but kind of. They're not like a legit rock climbing shoe, I don't think. But right. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. What do you guys know about five ten? <laughs> I know that they sell all. That's about it. Is there a rock walk walking I shoe? I don't uh, do <laughs> like, a whole lot of rock climbing. Um, I want to say hiking, but I know that's not a hiking uh, shoe, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Uh, these are some Crocs like duck boots, women seven. Those should go for thirty five or so. The good ones till the end of this bag, at least. I got some Joseph Sabelle clock. 
uh, size 37, so probably around a six and a half or so. Really good shape. Those should go for, I want to say, like 40. That brand does really well for me. And these are just the men's basic sketcher that usually sells for 30 to 35. These were only $8.99, so not bad. They are men's eight. And I feel like anything with like no tie does yeah. make people like slip on. Easy access. These I just grabbed because they were fairly cheap and basically like new. They're just Dolce Vita. They're not gonna sell for a ton, but they were $4.99. They're a cute little shoe. Um, I'm thinking like 20 bucks on those. Okay. Uh, these I probably paid too much for, $16.99, but I think I can get 40. They're basically brand new vans and they do have the, um, like the Ultra Kush insoles. Okay. Yeah, so these are a nice pair. These are a men's 10, so good size, but yeah. 17 into probably 40. I might list them at 50 and see what happens. They are basically like new without box. Yeah, the best to find at this stop, I think, are going to be these. Ooh. These are the Nike Roma Leos, or however you say that. Um, yeah, I've sold these a few times, oh, over 100 every single time. Uh, this is a cool color. I think these are men's 10. Yep, yeah, good size. Yeah. And yeah. It's the little dirty, but yeah. great Which shape. The, the comps I was seeing, some of them were even worse. So yeah. yeah, I think I can clean them up a bit, but even if I don't, Nike doesn't make these anymore. They're just a really nice weightlifting shoe. Yeah. Um, I did pay up at 22, but some of the solds were pre-owned over 200, uh, definitely over 100. I don't think there was any men's 10 right now, at least in this color. So we'll see. I might list them high. I know. Because I had sold a few over 100, and then um, when a lot of Josh was making videos, I saw he sold a pair over 200, and I was wow. like, oh, maybe Jeez. I way undersold mine, so <laughs> I might start high just because why not? Yeah. Um, if somebody really wants that color. A lot of times, I feel like every time I've sold these, they also went global shipping, so. Oh. Some people so would that be authenticated, too? Are those yeah, like... Yeah, they are going to go out in yeah. authenticity. Guarantee. So I know you wash athletic shoes in mm -hmm. the laundry machine. Yeah, I won't. Would you do it with that pair? No. No. These feel like a, I don't know, feel this, what would you say, like almost like a plastic? Yeah. It's, I don't know what you'd call it. It's that, almost, it feels like a leather, but I like a. I think that these would get ruined in the washing machine, yeah. so I'm not going to do that. Yeah. I might wipe them with a wipey slowly and see what happens, not with any product, like not with um, goof off or anything. Right, right, right. And if I can't get them clean, that's totally fine. So. Like a baby wipe kind of yeah. wipey? Yeah. Just yeah. a little Just to damp see what happened to uh, a damp cloth, so. Okay. I don't know. I'm very excited about those though. And yeah. This was the other. So I think I got three pairs that should sell for a hundred plus, and this Ooh. might be one of them, which is weird because they're just sockany. Yeah. Uh, pay ten bucks. They I, look very interesting for yes. Yeah, so that's the only reason I even looked them up. I was like, you know, ten bucks for sockany, I would just normally pass. Not even. I mean, I might pay ten if they're like in perfect condition, which these looked a little dirty. Yeah. And stuff. So. But I was like, they look really cool. Let me just look them up. And I did. And I don't know what is special about them. I don't know what this feature means. Um, feature. When I, saw, <laughs> I was like, what feature? Oh, yeah, it's the word feature. feature. In them. And then, like, when I typed in the model number um, on eBay, they were called, like, Courageous Belgium Waffle or something. I was going to say, they look like, like gingerbread cookies. <laughs> okay. But, like, I get waffles. I, I it, It's a waffle theme. I get it. So I don't know if they're, like, some collaboration, but... I don't care because they're, they should sell for a lot. <laughs> they are a small size, men's six and a half. There's only a couple listed and several sold, so I don't know. Hopefully there's a man that has size six and a half feet, or I can probably convert that to like a women's eight, eight and a half. Yeah. And check Saucony's size chart, but yeah. I know like those breakfast cereal kind of yeah. shoes are like big, right? Yeah. <laughs> so who doesn't want to have some waffles yeah. their <laughs> with, their, with their breakfast cereal shoes, right? Right. So I guess... If anything looks interesting, <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. I also got these Anu sandals. I love this brand. It usually sells right around $35, $40 plus shipping. These are a women's nine. I got some Timberlands. I probably paid too much for these, but I was kind of going to average the cost of goods here. Um, Didn't we just sell a pair like that? Or do uh, we have probably, another pair? Yeah, we probably did. I got some of these retail arbitrage, so. Yeah. But, yeah, these are a men's 10. Great size. And I imagine I can get 35 to 40 on those, so not bad. 
And then these were half off, so only four bucks trotters. I don't know that I'd have paid the eight. I think I saw these last time I went, and I was just like, eh, I don't think they're worth eight. Yeah. They're women's six. If they were, like, a wide, I might have paid eight. These do sell pretty decently around $30, though, so, yeah. And then I got, I, I was <laughs> strictly uh, sourcing shoes yesterday, but of course. No, you weren't. Look at what I you're holding. I help myself, <laughs> which I found a couple of decent pieces. Not many, which I'm glad I don't. I don't want to let roll the clothes yeah. and do all that stuff. But. Looks like Ralph Lauren. Yeah, this is like a Lauren Ralph Lauren denim blazer. blazer? I, guess. I don't know. It's not, I don't think this is cute, but I do like <laughs> new tag stuff to list. And yeah. it was 10 bucks, but the retail on it was 175 So cool. I think I can get at least 50 on that. Yeah, I think it'll do well. It's um, yeah, Lauren a Ralph conversational Lauren piece, you know. Well. So there's that. I did find a men's Pendleton wool flannel. These usually do well 35 to 50, just depending. I don't feel like this is a super cool colorway or anything, right. but. Can you tell like if it's old by the, the tag or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, there's like a bunch of online. If you go online and just search like Pendleton tags, it'll yeah. show you like what years or what decades they're from and stuff. But yeah, it's definitely vintage. I like large. it. Yeah. It's my kind so, of shirt. <laughs> Eight dollars and two at, at the very least, probably thirty. Yeah, I would say closer to forty on that. And then this was like new to me, but I was just like, it feels nice. It looks nice. So I did look it up. The brand is Victos. Oh, so it was fifteen dollars. So I almost didn't get it, but then I looked it up. I think it retails around two hundred. I think I can get eighty to one hundred pre-owned in this condition. So okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I've never heard of it, and it seems decent. But so is that like tactical? Would yeah, you consider I think that it tactical? Was tactical when yeah. I started looking it up. So okay, that could be it. Yeah, a lot yeah. Of, so Some I'm of those tactical brands, yeah, for camo and the thrift, but not everything that's tactical is camo. So yeah, yeah. So that was it at that store. So I think we've been to two stores so far, and then here was I think one thrift store, and then Once Upon a Child was one of them again. Mm. So this other thrift, I think I only found four or five pairs of shoes. I got some Kamek snow boots. These always do well around 30 or so plus shipping. Those are U3. Um, these are some Asics, a really nice pair. These yeah. are a men's 12, super good shape. Clean. Pay $12.99, but the comps on these were like 50, maybe 60 in this condition, maybe even a tiny bit more. We'll see. Another pair of sass. I debated passing on these. I don't feel like this is the cutest model, but yeah. they're in like great shape. So I grabbed them because I was just like, when I'm looking for shoes, I'm already at the thrift. Why not? I'll at least yeah. double my money on these and I don't have to do anything to them other than maybe wipe this number off. So like filler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how I feel. Cause it's at this point, I'm already at the store, so now it's like an extra 10 minutes of work for yeah. at least $10 profit. Probably close to $20 profit, honestly. Yeah. I always relate it to, like, when I I used to work at Taco Bell, right? And they would try to have us upsell, right? Would you like to make that a large? So it's like you are already got the customer. Yeah. You're just trying to boop up your profit a little bit, and that's kind of how I relate that. Yeah. Uh, these are cute. These are just Eddie Bauer, but a nice leather, just little booty. Um size seven. I think I can get close to 40 on those. These I only got because they were half off, so like 550. And they're Franco Sardo, but like a snake skin. They are not leather. They're women's 10. Really good shape otherwise. I imagine 25 to 30 maybe on those. So snakeskin print, right? Is yeah, that so it's not leather. Would I, I never I don't know. Would actual snakeskin ever be considered leather? Is it considered like a leather? Whenever I have other shoes, they always say leather. Like up, snake print? It'll look like this and it'll say leather really? up. So I'm imagining it's maybe yeah, textured on it yeah, or something. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't know that much. <laughs> yeah. I, just I don't know. Sell shoes. <laughs> I don't have to know about them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, Sorry for the hard questions. <laughs> and then another pair of sass. So this one is more of a, it's simple, but it's, I feel like these would sell better than these ones would. Yeah. She's pointing at those ones when she said yeah. that. <clears throat> oh, and I went to play those. I forgot. So maybe I did go to five places. Um, so these are from Play-Dohs. I'm trying to show you guys the stuff like in an semi-order. Let's put those <laughs> to the side for now. Those are from there. 
once upon a child had oh, this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So again, I wasn't looking at clothes. I was at the checkout. This was hanging behind the register. I could see this. Yeah. So I was like, oh, can I look at that? Is it for sale? Is it, is it ready to go out? And they're like, yeah, I just tagged it. It's size 12 month. It's 12 to 18 month. And they only had a price at 650 and I had 20% off. So. <laughs> Do you have any more of these? <laughs> I mean, right. Like sometimes they price these at 30 bucks. I don't get it, but. Yeah. I'll take it for 650 probably not for 30 Unless it was for my kid. But yeah, it seems to be in really, really good shape. These usually sell for forty to fifty dollars. So that's great. That made the whole once upon a child trip worth it to me because yeah, the shoes there, like we said in the last time we did a little once upon a child haul, I'm not making a ton of profit on them. They're yeah. just easy listings that I can make ten bucks usually off of. Yeah. So. Uh, little baby Black Panther Crocs. Oh, cool. Size four. <laughs> Probably looking um, because of the Black Panther. I might list these at thirty. Expect probably well, around. 20. I know, like the one of the movies just released, the Wakanda Forever movie. I think is what it called. I don't know, <laughs> but I think it just released on Disney, so cool. it could be one of those great timing <laughs> kind of things. Yeah, and these I just got because they were camo, little Converse, probably twenty five plus ship. Um, little Nike Team Hustles, probably twenty five plus ship. Another Converse. I'm p very particular on the Converse I grab. These were just because they're in basically like new condition. Yeah. I feel like the ones that you just slip on versus tie do well. These are freshly picked. I've never found like a oh. like a full yeah like a real shoe. Picked. Yeah, it's usually the little baby moccasins. These look brand new except for like there's a little glue mark there. I don't know if I can peel that off or if it'll ruin it, but. I figured it was worth it either way. Um, these are size 11, like a toddler. I imagine so I can get 30 or so on those. That's the logo for Freshly Picked. Yeah, it's Hard to P. see there. It's like a little arrow with the FP. Yeah. So, that's cool. Um, that was one of those Shark Tank brands. Yeah, that, and I uh, loved them when our kids were babies. Yeah. Little moccasins. Um, these are North Face, like a sneaker, new a tie for youth. I feel like these could be boy or girl. I don't know. Just gray. Yeah. And blue. Hiking uh, shoe. At kind least of thirty dollars, I would say. Maybe a little more. Um, these are some Sorel. Uh, yeah, snow boots usually sell for thirty or so plus ship. These little Toms were. Um, I don't buy all the Toms because they usually overprice them, but. And by overpriced, that's just my opinion. They can price it whatever they right. want. Uh, they usually price Toms at like eight fifty, sometimes twelve if they're bigger size, and mm -hmm. that's fine if you're buying it for your kid. It's not good for resale. These though were three fifty, and they were ninety percent off, so I'd be like thirty five cents for these. So it's kind of hard to see. you want to open that up so they can kind of yeah, get a better look. Um, Here, let me get you a pair of scissors. Thank you. It's hard to see them. Yeah, we actually had these for our kids when they were babies. Um, little. Flag ones for 35 cents. Oh, cent. nice, yeah. So I imagine I can get at no less, probably at least 15. They are an infant too, so yeah. the baby doesn't walk or anything, but right. people love putting their babies in. Need that for 4th of July. Yeah, something like that. So I don't know, 15 to 20, I'd say on those. Cute. And these Camex or new attack, probably it will go for at least 30. <laughs> Once upon a child bag. Got some socanese, these usually. Hey, Reese. <laughs> you itchy? You okay? Hey. You good? You good? <laughs> you already had your meatball. Uh, yeah, he Started. did. Go, go <laughs> You're gonna turn into a meatball. <laughs> um, so yeah, these little baby socanese usually go for a 20 to 25 plus ship. Got some North Face snow boots. Um, size 10 toddler. I know we're kind of coming up on the end of the winter. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people go on spring break trips to the mountains, like people that live in like more yeah. uh, warmer climates. But if they don't sell this year, that's fine. I, fine. They will definitely sell by next winter. Right. Time, so um, these vans I thought were cool. They have like a little hula girl on them. Really good shape. Uh, I'm particular on the vans too because most of them are really beat up after a kid wears them. Mm -hmm. These are actually women's six or men's four and a half. So. Okay. Yeah, those should. And that was that once upon a child, huh? Yeah, they, yeah, sometimes. Because they do like youth women. Yeah, technically a men's size is a youth size, so these could be a youth four and a half. Gotcha. Um, 
Got some little natives. I've never sold this kind before, but they basically look brand new. Hoping for 25 or so plus shipping on those. Got some dog converse. See, I don't know if these are old, like that if they've been there a while. Mm. But these are only priced at $350 and now they price their converse at like 10 bucks. So um yeah. They Maybe were. the same person priced the, the yeah. vest. <laughs> Infant <laughs> Someone's <four>. fired <laughs> today. Little doggy. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it's super cute. Probably at least 20 on those. So. <laughs> um, these are just a Nike, what are these? Like a free fit size six. I think these are also women's then. So those are probably 30. Got some Sorel snow boots that usually go for about 30. I don't need to tell you all the sizes. <laughs> Check my shop. I'm hoping to list a lot of these today. Yeah. Um, and then these, I just need a little wipe down, but some Kamek. I was thinking these are rain boots, but they do have the wool liner, so they're probably more of a snow boot too. Okay. Size 11 kids. So not too bad, considering I picked this once upon a child, what, like a week ago? Yeah. And these are all, I think I got 18 pairs. So those have all been put in since the last time I was there. You know, I usually don't go to once upon a child that often because I'm like, they probably haven't already stocked that much, but. Right. Maybe I'm wrong. You're so wrong. I know. <laughs> All right, and then I got this. So how many clothes did I get? One, two, three, four, five. That's not bad. I'll list this today. <laughs> um, this is Taylor Stitch, which is. Oh yeah. That's... Last time I went to Play-Dohs, I found Taylor Stitch too. Uh, this is very basic. The other one was a Henley, at least. This is just a t-shirt. It's probably gonna go yeah. for. 15? 25, 20, maybe, 25? which is still crazy. That's crazy. Um, it was priced at eight. I didn't have 20% off, but I did have like a 10 off 30 coupon, so a little less than eight, I would say. Okay. I'll probably split that coupon up along all my items I bought, but yeah. Is Taylor Stitch that brand where you kind of... I think it's made in San Francisco or something. Is it the one where you like mail order like a box of clothes? Oh, they send you a box of clothes? No, it's just like... It's a, not like, okay. It's the one that has like the salvage jeans. Okay. That was the first item I ever found of it. And I was just like, these jeans feel nice. So I looked them up. They sold so fast. And the guy was like, please let me know if you ever find these again. <laughs> yeah. Again or right. Um, these I only bought because they were half off. So some Nike. What are these? Like the Rashis or something. These are probably going to go for around 30. Um, these are my size. I'm debating keeping them or selling them. But they're just made well. So it's okay. nine and a half little leather sandal. I thought they are cute. Yeah. Um, yeah. If not, I can probably get 30 out of those. You know, these Crocs I only bought to make a small prop. I mean, these were priced at $16, which is a lot, but they were like brand new. Those are clean and yeah, bright. Ready to list. So 16 minus a little bit of a coupon. I figured I can list them at 40, probably sell them for, even if they go for 30, I'll probably make about a $10 profit very easily, yeah, which is yeah. good enough for me. Also, when I buy stuff at Plato's, it accumulates points for then me to get eventually a 20% off coupon. So I think I'm pretty close to that now after nice. buying a few things. So Bread and butter. Yeah. Emphasis on the butter. That's some <laughs> butter yeah. looking shoes. <laughs> men's six or women's eight. Huh. These ones are. Yeah. Men's six, women's eight. Oh, another these pair. These are men's seven, women's nine. I feel like these are like the same size. Crocs are weird. I feel like these are going to be big on me. Yeah. Crocs are always like really big. Anyway, it's really nice purple color. And then these ones have a little mini mouse. These are men's six to seven or women's eight to oh, nine. Oh yeah, the holes so. are the Mickey Minnie Mouse. Yeah, so it's Cute. Disney. So at least a $10 profit on the, all the Crocs. Yeah. Fairly quickly. These almost always sell like right away. Oh, and then oh. these boots. Oh yeah. I the boots. These are Carl Lagerfield. They were only priced at 14. I can probably get 60, 70 or so. They're basically brand new. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> That's what I got. Are you okay over there? <laughs> He's Not grunting. Bad for and... a half a day. Oh, yeah. This is, I mean. Yeah, I mean, I think I would have got less at the bins and definitely less profitable things at the bins because I would just yeah. find a bunch of $10 items at the bins. So. Everything's ready pretty much. I mean, you don't have many much yeah, I, work to do with the I shoes, right? I try not to buy ones that need much of anything. Yeah. Chris, since I have my nails painted, as <laughs> the numbers off. But yeah, which is not a problem. They're ready to list. Even these, he'll just wipe the side really fast. And yep. I'm not going to, like, scrub these with any sort of thing. And, I mean, all we use is is yeah. this um, goof-off yeah. um, 
to take the numbers off. Yeah, we be careful, but for the most part, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's know. safe on like ninety percent of the shoes I we show get. Them, like these naturalizers, I did kind of mess these up with it. So be careful, but I mean, they're, I'm still gonna. Oh yeah, this pair here. It's just. Like, I don't know if it was that. I feel like this is just a weird. Yeah. Material. But I'm sure it didn't help that I wiped it with this. So. Yeah. Anyways. So be careful because um, it can melt some rubbers and plastics and all that. But like I said, 90, 95 percent of the shoes, Crocs, I mean, you could like soak it in that stuff and it'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, you got to be careful around like this kind of stuff. It could take like yeah. the, the logo off the plastic. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's vans, like it always it would take off that. on Yeah. The, the back just be careful. badge. So use caution, but that's what we use. And if, if it doesn't get clean with that or in the laundry machine, we kind of just sell it as is, right? Yeah. So awesome. I'm, I'm happy with everything you found. It's yeah, a great. I'm going to at least get it all photographed today. Yeah. And hopefully bagged up and taken to storage. So it is Wednesday. And that, yeah. that basically, this is enough right. for the, so the rest of the week, right? I was a little right? bit behind last week on my listings. And so I'm starting off this week a little behind, but if I can definitely knock at least the photographs out on these today, I should be basically back to normal. Yeah. So I think I can, and then hopefully on Thursday, I'm going to go do another store. That's another. tomorrow, right? <laughs> yeah. That is tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> hopefully if I can do that today, tomorrow, This This week has flown by right for now. us, but uh, anyway. Yeah. Awesome. So that's that's everything Kathy found. We're going to get working on this stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the support, and we hope to see you guys in the next one.